The extreme weather that has seen record-breaking wildfires in California and the strongest hurricane to hit Louisiana in 160 years looks set to get worse. On Thursday, September 11th, the U.S. Climate Prediction Center said the weather pattern known as La Nina had officially formed. This is why La Nina is important. La Nina brings dry, warm weather to the southwestern U.S. It brings cool, wet weather to an area reaching from the Pacific Northwest and southeastern Alaska to the northern plains and central Canada. La Nina, which means little girl in Spanish, is a complex ocean atmosphere phenomenon that occurs every few years in the Pacific Ocean. Under normal conditions, winds from the Pacific Ocean push warm water from the west coast of South America towards Indonesia. As the warm water moves westward, cold water rises. When La Nina occurs, winds in the Pacific grow much stronger. They push even more warm water towards Indonesia, causing more cold water to rise near the west coast of South America. This could worsen the drought in the southwestern U.S. this winter while bringing a cooler, wetter winter to other parts of North America. These changes in sea surface temperature are felt around the planet. La Nina can lead to more rain in Australia and Indonesia, stronger hurricanes and typhoons, and more lightning in some parts of the world. La Nina is the reverse of El Nino, the opposite weather pattern, which can also cause more extreme weather. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, or NOAA, has observed water temperatures in the equatorial Pacific Ocean remain 0.5 degrees Celsius above average for over three months. Trade winds blowing from east to west across the equatorial Pacific send warm surface waters to the eastern Pacific, generating a low-pressure area over which storms form. El Nino occurs when the winds reverse for periods as long as several months, causing warm water to spread over the central and eastern Pacific. This reorganizes rainfall and atmospheric circulation, bringing unseasonal and intense weather, which can cause brush fires in Australia and flooding in South America. The Climate Prediction Center says there's a 50 to 60 percent chance that the 2015 El Nino will continue through spring. El Nino will likely provide some rainfall relief to drought-stricken California, but it's not expected to have drastic global effects. El Nino tends to increase precipitation along U.S. coastlines, but the Midwest and Northwest tend to see a decrease from the average. The frequency of precipitation is also affected in comparison to average frequency. El Nino also tends to suppress hurricane activity in the Atlantic Ocean by causing higher wind shear, which spreads storms out over a larger area. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.